Hey guys, this is Albert and here I have the CoolPad Porto, which is a 170 euro Android phone. I have picked up one and today I'm going to unbox it. So let's see what is in the package. So I've opened it already and here we have this 4.7 inch Android smartphone. Obviously it runs Android 5.0, so we have these very large buttons on the bottom. We have a very, very thin bezel on the side and a very thin housing obviously and a little dimple for the camera on the back so here is a sim card slot on the side and these buttons for the volume rockers on the right side of the device and a very small power button also on the right side so let's take off this uh, protective uh, take a closer look on the device so on the bottom we have a microphone and a micro USB port and here we have the camera with a LED flash and on the front we have this selfie cam and obviously our sensors. So before we start the device we will take a look at the packaging itself. So here we have this SIM card removal tool which is fine and should do its job. So next up what do we have inside? Okay, quite a lot actually. So here we have these headphones, which are obviously in the color of the phone and I will just open it any way I can. Okay, it's kind of hard to open these packaging and well, they look actually pretty cheap. It's nice that they are in the color of the phone, so obviously white, but they look really, really cheap and I think I wouldn't even use those. So here we have a micro USB cable and the wall charger for the phone, which you can obviously connect with this USB cable to charge your phone. So let's take a look at the CoolPad Porto. So after I have set up the phone, I have noticed that this SIM card slot also offers an SD card slot. So this is a dual slot, so here you can put your SIM card in and your SD card, put it back in and use your phone as usual. And I haven't uh, put in my SIM card or SD card yet, obviously. I will do so in the next couple of weeks and then a review will come out of this device. So obviously uh, this phone runs Android 5.0 and this is a slightly skinned version of Android so uh, as you can see it has different icons it has a slightly different uh, settings app which looks like this and basically this is just a skin so th this doesn't change anything to how your Android device basically works so you have this Google settings you have Facebook pre-install you have Skype you have few social networks already installed on your phone and then you have all the usual Google apps as you know it from any other Android smartphone. So here they are. And this is just a skinned version of Android 5.0. Um, I don't know if this device will receive any updates in the future. I hope so because they have promised it. And basically this is just stock Android with a few other icons which you can change if you just install the Google Now Launcher which you can find in the Play Store which is also available on this device. So in the next couple of weeks I will test the camera of this phone and I will try everything else I can do and in one or two weeks I will publish a review of this device on my channel. So stay tuned for updates and subscribe if you like it and thanks for watching.